violence and other kind of violence. What's good, YouTube? It's a Black Gen Z mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe, and let's get into the video. Start from the beginning. Five, six, seven, eight. 16 year old reality TV dancer Daishaya Hall has died from gun violence. Daishaya was a member of the Dancing Dolls, a troupe featured on Lifetime Television's Bring It. Mm. Man, um, this one is crazy. This one hit Atlanta hard. And unfortunately, the story has already gone over people's heads, okay? Um, the community moves on quick, man, because this stuff is so constant that you can't really dwell on it. But I did want to highlight this story because this young lady, she was um, on television dancing. Uh, she was a competitor, an athlete. And she was killed outside of the Kroger by these super gremlins on demon time. That leap in the beginning. The show followed choreographer Diana Williams as she prepared the dancing dolls for hip hop and majorette competitions. Police say Daishaya was shot and killed outside of a grocery store in Atlanta, Georgia on June 13th. There was a dispute that then escalated to gunfire. A 17 year old boy was also shot in this incident. This is not the first time the Dancing Dolls has lost a member to guns. Wow. Y'all heard that, right? This is not the first time in one dance group that one of these young black girls was killed. And that's just one dance group. I mean, of course, if you look at the Pee Wee football team, you're going to have a whole starting lineup, and that's 11 people knocked down. OK. And obviously, um, the women are not usually the victims, even though we do a lot of stories on women who are killed. But when they are, a lot of times it ends up being sisters and, and it's a tragedy. 19 year old Shakira Gatlin was killed on February 2nd, 2022 in what authorities have called an accidental mishandling of a firearm by a juvenile. Police have asked for anyone with information on the June 13th shooting to contact Crime Stoppers at 404-577-8477. I'm here on the corner of MLK and Frederick Douglass where a shooting just took place. And as you can see, it's a pretty rough area. So I'm basically risking my life reporting on this madness. So make sure you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button like the video, hell, share the video, and make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section to continue the discussion on how we can find solutions to all this sun violence in the streets. I'm Jen Quavius Jackson, here live, reporting from Atlanta, Georgia, BGZM News 17. New at five, a high school teen dancer is dead. And police say her killer is still on the run. Fox Size Portia Bruner joins us live from DeKalb County with more details. Portia? Yeah, this is such a heartbreaking story. I can tell you I was... What I tell y'all about DeKalb County? In this area last night, we're off of Flat Hills Parkway and Flakes Mill Road, and you can see just dozens of teenage girls who were all here, uh, many dancers and friends who were all here had set up this tribute to, they called her Shay. Shay Hall, just 16 years old, shot and killed here Sunday night by someone who remains on the run. Mm. DeKalb County Police released photos of these two young men they described as persons of interest following the June 12th shooting in the parking lot of this shopping plaza on Flat Shoals Parkway. Investigators say a dispute between a person of interest and someone in this white sedan ended with the fatal shooting of 16-year-old Dashe Hall late Sunday. A second person was critically wounded that night, but police have not released that victim's identity. 
Balloons, flowers, and a row of melted candles remain at the spot where friends and fellow dancers chose to mark this tragic act of violence. The owner of the popular Dollhouse Dance Factory in Stone Mountain posted on social media that Daishé was, quote, fearless and would always try to elevate herself and everyone else in the dollhouse, adding, she was always encouraging her sisters and motivating everyone. Now, this morning, I did reach out to the Cab County Police to try to get an update on where things stand with those two persons of interest. And understand that you won't see Black Lives Matter on the scene. You won't see the Black Girl Magic Brigade anywhere to be found. They do a little post about it, and they're on their way, okay? Um... <clears throat> I don't know what it's going to take to get the community to stand up against this stuff. But, you know, we've done story after story after story. And, you know, it really just seems like people either don't know that it's happening or don't care. That white vehicle, any surveillance video they may have captured from this area it received a response by email this afternoon saying they're not ready to comment. They're working some leads and we'll have more to say about this case in a matter of days. In the meantime, thoughts and prayers are surely with the family of Shay and all the young dancers who were out here and who are longing for her, missing for her, and certainly wanting some answers. Reporting live in DeKalb County, Portia Bruner, Fox 5 News. Such a devastating and concerning yes, outcome indeed. there. Portia. Gang violence and other kind of violence.